Okay. Awesome. Oh gosh, technology. Perfect. Okay. So um, as Lindsay said, my name is Denise Welsh. I'm a senior director out in Alberta. Thank you, Lindsay, for inviting me to share with you my new party strategy. So if you were watching the webinar, um, I don't remember the girl's name, but she started talking about scroll and shop at the very end there. This is the same idea. So scroll party on the go, on demand. Um, I used to call them scroll parties. I'm now calling them on the go. Um, so let me just share my screen with you. Oh, hang on. I've got to give me a second. Um, I got to put it into presentation mode so that you don't see my, all this, like everything. <laughs> okay. Um, I promise I was ready, but then I fiddled. Okay. Um, all right, so Canva isn't letting me do what I want. So I will do this. And then just let me know if you can see the screen. Um, there we go. Okay, so before I get started, can everybody see that? Um, I can't hear anybody. So someone yes. just say yes. <laughs> yep, yep, I can see it looks great. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so before I get started, I want a little like disclaimer. Um, Partying, obviously, as we know, has changed. The face of partying has changed as we know it. Um, and I just want you to take all of this with, um, I don't know, a grain of salt, I guess, and just do what works for you. So you might look at all of this and be like, oh my gosh, this is super overwhelming. So take chunks of it and like start working on that. That's what I first did. My first thing that I did was I created the party page, which I'll explain what that is in a minute. Um, and then I worried about the how to's. So you do you and do what works for you. And you might find that this style works, but you might want to tweak it and that's fine. There's no right or wrong. So, um, what is an on the go party style? Well, it's the fun and easy way to party away from social media. Um, you will create a party page um, that has all the content that you would typically share in a typical Facebook party or texting party. So what is shared is the party page link to your guests and then they click on it, which I will show you an example. Um, and they can see everything that you have created. They can click on pictures, they can place an order. It is super easy and super fun. And more importantly, you're not working on Facebook with all the Facebook algorithms or the scheduling failures. Okay, um, the party page allows you to party on any platform you wish. So when I'm referring to a platform, I mean how you are collecting your guests info. So you can still party on a Facebook page with this. I most certainly would not, but lots of people choose to do that. You can do it, incorporate it into a texting party. Um, I first started doing this in messenger chat. So Facebook messenger chat, where I would get the hostess to create a chat. Um, and then I would post the link and then I'm going to share a new way that I'm doing this a little later on called spark hub, which is another platform. So how you party is still up to you, but the most important thing you need to remember is you need a way to gather your guest info. So it's not enough to just send the party page link. You have no way of gathering info if you're sending that link. So no way of following up, no way to do four questions, et cetera. Um, so that's where I'm saying consultant has access to all guest contact info to build relationships, book, sell, and recruit. Okay, so why an on-the-go style party? Well, you don't have to worry about Facebook algorithms, as I said. The party page can be easily duplicated for future parties. It's literally the click of a button. Um, guests can check it out on their own time. The feedback that I've gotten since I've done this in March, since March, is that they are loving it because they can check it in the school line waiting for their kids. They can scroll through it as they're laying in bed on their phone. They can check it while they're watching TV. It is fully on their own, at their own time, clickable, browsable, shoppable, and done. Um, so party anywhere with no scheduled event. You can add videos to the project broadcast page, which could duplicate or replace your live video, or you can still do a live event and just let them know where and when that's going to be on the party page. Um, and more importantly, this frees up your time. I am no longer down in my basement, sitting in my office or standing in my office with my ring light, doing three lives a night. I am watching TV, hanging out with my kids, doing homework, which maybe I should do parties instead of homework, but 
um, it frees up so much of my time and I'm still partying. The party just kind of takes care of itself. Okay, so the party page. So lots of you have probably heard about it. So there is two ways, I'm sure there's others, but these are the two that I know on how to create a party page. One is Canva and one is Project Broadcast. I'm not gonna go into the pros and cons of each because that's a whole other training, but I am gonna show you different examples of each. Um, both apps offer a free subscription to create party pages. Um, however, with the new way that I'm partying where I've partnered with Spark Hub and I use Project Broadcast, the two communicate. So I send out the messages and all of that together. So if you're using Project Broadcast to send those automated text messages, then there is a subscription, but I have a code for you where you can get extra credits. Okay, so Canva. How do you sign up to Canva? Super easy, go to canva.com, sign up for the free account. And I can walk you through this a little bit more, but you create a website and this will be your party page. So when you're on Canva, you can create a Facebook post, you can create all sorts of things. Choose create a website. Then you create your slides and you add links to your pics and text boxes, make a copy for whenever you wanna use it for all your parties. Now, I know this is super brief, but I'm going to show you what one looks like, and then it'll kind of make sense. So um, how do I do that? Oh, my gosh. There we go. And of course, my web, my internet is like slow. Okay. So this is going to show up a little small because this is for mobile viewing, but hopefully you guys can still see it. What I want you guys to pay attention is that you can be as creative as you want with this. So this is my branding colors. So I chose, I love the Tiffany blue, pink for 31. And then I love that like wood board slap thing. Um, so this is the theme you'll see throughout my party page. You want to keep it consistent. Don't make each slide a different color or anything. You just want to choose your colors and go with it. So when a guest clicks this link, the party page link, which would be this link right here. Um, they will instantly see this and then they just scroll down. Now, if they want to shop the party, they would click here and I'm, I'm not going to click on it because it'll just, oh my gosh, why is this showing up? Sorry, hang on. There we go. Um, but this will take them to the hostesses um, link on your party because you can add a link and I can show you that quickly but um, the closing date your phone number etc if you click on this this leads to messenger so they can chat so you can enter all the links it's super easy so here's a slide that tells them you know what to expect in this party and how it's different and then the party itself is all in here so welcome to the party click your RSVP. Now, remember, not everyone is going to RSVP. We know this. And so this is why it's super important for you to choose your platform, which I'll get into. Okay. So um, I want to show you the whole page. So if I'm going too fast, let me know. So I, a simple scroll that says, um, you know, thank you. Usually I have a hostess, um, the hostess name here, but this was from my launch party. So I didn't. Um, but normally I would say thank you. Thank you to our amazing hostess, Jenny, for hosting a party with, with me. Um, and then what is 31 gifts? So this is where you get to be creative. You can make your slides anything you want. I do have a generic template that I can share with you guys. Um, it is from spring, so you will have to update the pictures. I just haven't had a chance to do the generic fall template but it's really easy to do. But this is where you get to be creative. Add your pictures, it can be whatever you want. You can change them as we get new products as the holiday collection just launched. And each of these will lead to the party page. So, or the party website, sorry. Um, I'm not gonna click there cause it'll be a dead link cause that party is gone. But um, just so that you guys can see. So I created this and so, so you can create the picture, add the picture, add the text, super easy. Um, my customer's favorite things. Again, you can be, you know, favorite gift ideas or top 10, top 10 items. It can be whatever you want for each slide. There's no right or wrong. I just kind of kept with categories that worked that I know my customers like. Um, and so all these links, so this will take them to the travel section on our website. So we'll clicking on the picture. 
Um, and again, the link can be linked right to the party, um, the hostess's party if you want, or it can be your generic website, it doesn't matter. Um, so I did the new commute, view commuter. Um, so I'm just gonna speed it up. And so that you guys can kind of see what it looks like. Each of these links to the right section of the um, website. And then you can see that I created this before the holiday collection. So in my newer ones, I will put the holiday catalog as well. But again, it all just links to the link that we have on our website, Halloween collection. Here's my video that I normally would do as a live, but here it is, they can watch it on their own time. Um, and then these, I just pulled off the 31 website, or 31 today, sorry, um, where they can just click. And I think it takes them just to like little short videos. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, can't miss specials. This takes you right to the customer special on our website, like the little link that we have. Um, and again, you know, message me to book your party date shows the rewards. Again, this doesn't have the updated October rewards because this is an old party, but I just wanted to show you the potential room for my why room for kits and talking about that again, not updated for this month, but you see what I can do. The survey is in there if you want. And then I always tell them that I'm going to check my messages because I message them the four questions. So, and I'll get to how I do that. Um, I'm super proud of this little Starbucks logo because I did that myself. <laughs> but anyways, that's my shameless plug. And then again, links to your Facebook group so that they all have it, your Instagram, your email, all of that can link. Now, how do you do that? I am going to show you really quick. I'm just going to show you like two seconds. I'm not going to go into the to do that's a whole separate training, um, because it would take an hour or so. Um, but so let's say you want to change a picture. It's super easy on Canva, provided Canva loads up. Okay, so I'm just going to make this bigger for you guys. Okay, so oops. my gosh, I'm sorry, my internet is super slow. I'm just going to try and close windows because my computer is like screaming. Okay. So um, let's say you want to change a picture. I'm just going to go here. All you do is click on it. And then you would go to uploads. And you can upload any picture you want from TOT, from any of the graphic groups, whatever. And then you can just replace it. You just point and drag. Now, I'm not going to do that because I don't want that there. Um, and then let's say you want to add a link. You go here to the little link button and you add your link. So you enter. And then when the party page is shared, the guests can link, can actually um, click on that link and it'll take them to the website. So that's that in a nutshell, um, super easy to do in that regard. Um, okay, so that's the Canva website. I know I kind of blew right through it, but it's just what a party page looks like. So next I want to show you Project Broadcast. Now, this seems to be like people are talking about more project broadcast, talking more about it lately. So basically what it is known for is it's known for the automated text messages um, that you can set up by setting up campaigns, et cetera, but they've just moved into the world of landing pages. So you can sign up for a free account or choose the monthly subscription. Monthly subscription allows you to send those automated texts. Um, the free account allows you to create the landing page. Super easy to do. I can walk you through it. Um, you go to the three lines and the icon, which I'll show you, um, to create a landing page. I can share a project broadcast page template, um, through the, through my spark hub link, but, um, and then create your slides with content about your company, add links, text boxes. So works the same as a Canva. You can see the similarities, but there's different, um, pros and cons, uh, because the, if you're doing your project broadcast landing page in project broadcast, it allows you to send that with your automated text, et cetera. So um, 
let me hang on. So this is, hang on, let me get out of here for a second and then I'll share that link with you. So, so here's that three little lines for project broadcast. You would go to landing pages. And again, this service is free. So you can subscribe to pay, uh, Project Broadcast and not have to pay. And then this is my, um, that I've created my landing page. Oops. So I'm just going to open it. Sorry, guys, of all the different screens. Technology is not my friend. I don't know how to do it where you can like actually. Okay. Okay. So you can see it's got the same ideas um, where you are sharing 31. So I'm not going to go through it as intensely, but um, again, these all link to the section in the website. Um, you're able to add a video. You're able to have them text you because it's linked to your phone number. If you're signed up to the text messages on Project Broadcast, it gives you a phone number. Um, it, um, so again, you can create your own verbiage. You can do whatever you want. It's super, super easy. Um, it did not take me long and it's super easy to duplicate. Um, I forgot to show you how to duplicate the Canva page, but it's super easy. Um, this is also super easy. So you can use the same landing page for all your parties. So you don't have to create a new script. You don't have to create a new anything for all your parties. It's all right here. And even when our catalog changes, it will be super easy to just change out the pictures, change out the graphics, um, and boom, like it'll take you 10 minutes to change your, your party page. Um, I've done it since March and I've had to change it a few times because of the catalog changes. And oh my gosh, it's so much easier than working with the Facebook party script that we're so used to. Um, so again, I've added holiday for this one, as you can see, and then I added pets, all these send you to the website and then I added videos. Um, you can add as many or as little as you want. Um, and all of these lead to where they need to for the page. So that is what a project broadcast landing page looks like. Now there is no like right or wrong. I have shifted now to project broadcast and I'm not using my Canva pages anymore. Um, I mean, I might, if that's what the hostess needs, but I'll tell you why in a minute. So here's all the catalogs that they can click. This takes them right to the issue link. Um, super easy. That's the end of that party page. Okay. So before I go back, does anybody have any questions? Cause I know I am running through this pretty fast and it's easy for me because I know what I'm talking about, but it's, this is all new for you guys. No? Okay. You guys can ask me all the questions you want at the end. So now it's time to party. How do you do this? So first you have to choose, are you going to create your party page on Project Broadcast or Canva? Like I said, they each have their own pros and cons. Um, really it's going to become user. It's going to become up to you, like user preference, what you find easy. Both are easy. Both have, um, duplicatable features so that you can just keep creating the same party for, or the same page for all your parties. Now choosing your party platform. This is where you are collecting your guest info. We can party all we want, but if we do not have a connection like that, building the relationships with our guests, we can't follow up, especially if they don't order. Your next recruit, your next hostess might be in the girl who can't afford to buy what she wants. But if you don't know she's at the party, you can't message her. You can't connect with her. So that's what the party platform is about. So when I first started with on the go parties, I used Facebook Messenger. So I would get the hostess to create a group chat. There was a tons of hostess coaching in the background where she was not allowed to add any guest without sending a private message to invite the guest to her party. Now, when the guest, when the hostess didn't follow the rules, um, you could see because everybody would leave the group chat, but that really worked. The Facebook Messenger group chat was easy. Um, I actually have one loaded up here that I can, or not because my Facebook or my internet is being dumb and apparently I can't type. Okay, so this is what it would look like in Facebook Messenger. 
So I kept the post to no more than one or two a day, which I'll get into. But basically, there's the party page link. They click on it. They can browse. I kept it really simple in the chat. So as you can see, I'm not doing party posts in here. Um, I would do the odd, like here's the shopping link or the large utility tote is amazing because, and I would give them a tip kind of thing, but that would be it. I would not party in the Facebook group because this is your party. The party page is your party, wherever that is, this guy. Okay, but this allows you to have your guests because you can see them all right here, which means you can message them all and do your four questions. They may or may not see the, the, the message if you're not friends, but that's no different than any other time that we've been partying. But now, or you can do a texting party where your guests, your hostess has to create a group text chat. I've never done those, so I don't have any, I just know people who do. And then the next thing is Spark Hub Project Broadcast. This is the most amazing invention ever, and I am so excited, and I'm going to show you how it works. Um, again, Cole's notes version, but I will do the Spark Hub info in a minute, but first steps, you need to book a party. So I started in the safe zone, book your own party, be your own guinea pig, because these are going to be your VIPs that you invite. So they're the girls that, you know, invite your, your regular customers, but they know you. So they know that it's new. And you can say like, I might have some hiccups, bear with me while I learn this new thing. So that's what I did. And then off of that launched off the um, four questions to get party bookings. You need to decide how you're gonna collect the guest information. So is it gonna be through Facebook Messenger? Is it gonna be through Spark Hub, which I'll show you? Is it gonna be through texting parties or some other way that you find creative? Google survey, Google form, et cetera. You need a way that you get their info so you can connect whether or not they order. Um, so that's choosing your platform. Okay. Um, so that's speaking of that, is choosing the platform. You need to have a system in place that gathers your guest info. As I said before, it's important for building relationships, following up and providing great customer service, even if they don't order. Um, because as we know, there's always someone in the background that might join, might book a party, might become your best customer, might become your next director. Okay. Now hostess coaching. This is crucial. This does not change. This still takes work. Um, your hostess coaching is really no different than probably what you've already been doing. You send her the same, you send her the messages, on what to do, how to message her guests, et cetera. So no group messaging allowed, private messages for the hostess coaching that or the hostess to send to her guests. So those are kind of my tips. I'm not gonna, I can give you my hostess coaching verbiage if you want, um, but I'm sure you're all are using that similar, if not the same, um, because it's not rocket science, but I can definitely give you the verbiage that I am using. Okay, party FAQ. I party for five days and five days only. Sometimes it'll last longer if someone asks if they can stay longer so that they can order. But um, in terms of content or like if, if I'm doing Facebook Messenger, I stop posting after five days. I thank everybody. Here's the link, um, party closing. Um, and I do this because time is valuable. We all know that the longer the party is open does not mean more sales. Um, and so I hostess coach my hostesses that it's five days. Um, so for them to pick if they're wanted around a payday, then it's gotta be five days around their payday. Um, remember that the party page is where you will share your content. It's not about blasting them with several messages with more content. Um, and you need to have a texting messaging strategy. This takes a little bit of effort. I used, when I was doing Facebook Messenger, I used boards, but now that's gonna be a paid service. So that might not be for everybody. And you need to collect guest info, which I think I've reiterated enough today. Okay. Um, so tips on creating your Canva or project broadcast landing page. First, choose your brand colors and fonts. They can be whatever you want. It does not have to be anything specific. It can even be seasonal. So maybe right now it's fall colors. Maybe in the winter, it would be blues and silvers. I don't know, that is up to you, but make sure your slides are consistent and that your colors stay and that it's not um, overpowering. Make a template. So I always have a master copy that I can then duplicate for future parties, making it super easy. Have fun, don't overthink it. I cannot tell you how many hours I spent overthinking it. So don't do like me, 
don't overthink it. This is your way. This is your chance to be creative. You can put whatever pictures you want on your party page. You can use whatever messaging verbiage you want on your party page. So don't overthink it. There are tons of templates over the, out there. Use them, get them, get the bundle codes from Project Broadcast or whatever, or Canva websites um, templates because you can make them your own. You don't have to recreate the wheel. Okay, now content for creating your party page. You wanna make sure that you have your info, obviously, product and company info, clickable links to your website. And you can fine tune it to be clickable links to your hostesses, um, like your website for your hostess's party. It's always hard to say. Um, pictures and graphics or videos. Make sure to talk about our customer special, our hostessing perks, our recruiting info, and any sales and promos. So the same thing we've been sharing through Post My Party, through Facebook, or however you've been partying, it's the same thing. Nothing's changed. It's just how creative you get to be in creating your page. Oh my gosh, I, this should be in, I'm so sorry. This should be in presentation. This is probably super small. Ugh. Sorry, guys. I have never done a slideshow presentation. This is my first time and I'm super nervous. Okay, sorry, guys. Um, okay, so how to party using Facebook Messenger. I've already kind of talked about this, so I'm gonna speed through it. Keep it simple. The party page is where your content is. You do not wanna crowd, crowd um, their messenger chat because the notifications will drive them crazy. Don't clutter it. Um, maximum two posts per day. Focus on providing tips and party page link. Use a private message for the four questions. Post a last call remind, reminder. And of course, post a thank you message. That's your focus in the chat. Um, your project broadcast messages will be very similar. So Spark Hub. So this is my new party platform. I've partnered with creator Judy Godshall. She actually created the scroll party on demand, on the go party. She came up with this genius. And then her husband created that platform that we have all wished for um, that we could party away from Facebook. They have created it. It allows you to streamline every party into one hub with a five minute setup. This was not hard to do. She's got tons of videos tons of how to, and she answers messages because I messaged her so much um, that she'll help you if you get stuck. It's combined with Project Broadcast for even more automatic features. And I'm gonna kind of show you what this is. Plus there is a link to a video for you. Okay, so before I do that, um, I want you to copy down this link. I can also send it to Lindsay. This is um, a project broadcast um, code that'll get you 500 credits um, for, for free and additional 500 credits when you sign up. So when you sign up, you get 500 credits on the cheap plan. Um, but with this code, you do get an extra 500 and the credits carry over month to month so that you will never run out. So I can share that with Lindsay um, because that's gonna be hard to copy, but I just wanted to put that out there. And then, um, I will share with you a code for um, Spark Hub. It's uh, the 15Z8QN. This will get you $5 off the subscription. Now, when I signed up, I signed up for the 30 day free trial. Um, they don't require you to pay it front. It's 120 American per year. I've paid that off in my first party. I will show you what that looks like. It is genius. You're gonna love it. I'm super, super, super excited about this. I'm more excited about this than I am about the on the go party because I've been doing that for so long, but this takes me away completely from Facebook. No longer am I dependent on Facebook. I'm collecting their info and I'm communicating with them, creating those relationships, developing relationships. And it's all done one-to-one -one through text because it partners with Project Broadcast and Spark Hub. Um, I can send this link to you guys or this code as well. Um, Julie has a project broadcast webinar. It is free to watch. If you click on that, if you uh, sign, oh my gosh, if you go to this website, she will do the, it's a one hour um, tutorial. I watched it with her or actually I watched it. Um, she actually asked me to view it before she sent it out to the public. And she really goes into the fine details of how Spark Hub works, but I'm going to give you a um view of it so this is spark hub 
So here's my events, which I'm just going to go to one of my current events. So I've created this and it is, I cannot even, it's so much, it's so easy. It's super easy to duplicate. So Spark Cup communicates with Project Broadcast. So all you have to do is create um, the event, enter the info like I have here. Here's the order link for her party. And then this is the host info. And this is a Project Broadcast thing, which I'll show you. But this is the messaging that goes out to her automatically as soon as she signs into the Spark Hub link that you send to her. Um, and so even here is what the messaging that she will have to send to her guests. Um, and it's done so automatically. It's so easy. She just copy paste or she can just use the link. Then this is the sign up page. Now, when she sends the link to her guests, this is what they get. It's personalized. It has her picture because she's added it in her Spark Hub link. And they RSVP through here. As soon as they fill this out, they get my project broadcast landing page. And if you look over here, I have access to all the guests and all their info because it's put into my project broadcast. So I automatically have their name, their email, and their phone number, and I can communicate with them. Now, in here, it allows you to co coordinate with the hostess to key dates and, um, oh my gosh, key dates for the party, which will go directly into the project broadcast landing page. So automatically it communicates to, with it. And then you can see, I have not done my checklist. So I'm going to check off that I've done these things. But if you look over here, the hostess has her own checklist and she's checked it off. So this is like a work in progress. She can um, see everything she needs to see. And then this is the project broadcast where it's magic. So on the project broadcast side, I have created messages that go, that are sent out um, and that, so when they fill out the RSVP form, they get the welcome message. And then once they're in, they get the campaign guest messages. So this is a lot of information. I know that all of you are like, oh my gosh, slow down. But here is Lori's um, campaign messages. And if you look, so these are the messages that I created. That's just the titles. But if you look, here's all her guests. So they are automatically going to get the messages that I've created. Again, these are just like the ones that I would have put in Messenger. Um, and that's it. You can see that there's only six messages that they get outside of the welcome message. It's sent automatically. I can teach you how to do a project campaign. Um, Julie's webinar actually teaches you a lot. So she'd probably be best because she is a master. I am not. Um, but super, super easy, all automated. And then it shows up here in your project broadcast chain um, chat. So here's a guest from one of the parties. You can see all the messages that went out and her and I communicating. Um, so something to remember, you can see she didn't reply to any messages, but guess what, ladies, she placed an order. So at the end, that's all that matters because then you're going to get her into your thank you and follow-up sequence um, that she's placed an order. Thank you for your order. Join my Facebook group, um, et cetera, et cetera. Now, in this case, she said she has a girl. So that puts her into the follow-up of, I'm just going to follow up to see if she likes her order at three weeks and then at three months. And maybe then she might book a party or maybe she is happy with her consultant or whatever, but you can kind of see where that goes. And then there's also that Spark Hub communicates. Here's all the hostess coaching messages that are sent out to the hostess because I've clicked here. Super, super easy. Okay, so that is it in a nutshell. That is like the Coles notes, super overwhelming. I know I'm happy to answer any questions. I partied this way through Spark Hub um, all of last, all of this month actually. And well, I guess we're only at the second week of October and the last week of September, um, all the parties qualified except for the one party where she didn't invite. So um, obviously that happens. 
um, where, how do I stop screen share? Um, there we go. Obviously that happens where, you know, it doesn't matter what platform you use. If a guest doesn't follow or hostess doesn't follow through, then there's no party, but that's kind of it in a nutshell. I know it's super overwhelming. I know it's a lot of info. I'm sorry, but there was like no way to explain it all without like starting from scratch. Yeah, no, I think that's, it's all amazing too. It's exciting. Like you said, to finally have some kind of platform out there that takes us off of Facebook because I hate relying on that as we all do. Um, so this Spark Hub sounds really, really intriguing. I'm excited to check that and out. I just stumbled on it. Like I, I knew about it, but I was like, I don't want to learn anything else. I don't want to learn anything new. Um, yes. But then I just, in September, I was like, you know, let's just see. And the 30 day free trial, I'm like, if I don't like it, then whatever, I'm out, I'll cancel. Yes. But it's so easy. There were some hiccups, like I'm not going to like, sugarcoat everything where but the hiccups were me the user not quite knowing where things fit yeah um but once now that it's done um like it's super easy to duplicate I wonder if I could hang on I'll share screen again so if I want to duplicate my event let's say I um so see this code here this is the project broadcast landing page so you enter this and you would, so I'm just going to create it again because I don't have another one. So you, to, cre to create a new event for Lindsay's party, you create your project broadcast landing page. It gives you a code. And then you say, I want you to um, event ID is my party. My fall party template is my master copy create which of course it's not doing because I don't know why, but it's super easy. Um, I don't know, I guess my internet's not, whatever. Anyways, that's how you recreate it. I don't know why it's not working, but it does work, I promise. <laughs> okay, it's, uh, yeah, like Maggie just said, setting it up is always the hardest part, but he said, once you kind of, we absorb it all and get our head around how to set it up, then your month to month with all your party bookings won't be as overwhelming as if oh, you were yeah. scheduling Facebook parties and posts and, engaging in all these different parties every month because you can tell you have a lot of parties which is awesome good for you I feel like I'd be more excited to even book parties if I had a new like a different yeah. way to party right and it's it takes a little bit for the hostess like my one hostess that um I showed you her spark cup profile she was like did anybody order I found it really hard to engage and I was like so sending private messages is <laughs> not engaging but she was like nobody responded to me. I'm like, but they all ordered like half of her guests ordered, which we all know not everybody does. So to yeah. have half her parties at $640. So with the bonus credits this month, she's ecstatic. And she's like, Oh, that was way better than I thought because things were happening, even though she didn't feel like they were. And right. at least if it's a dud, you didn't go live for an hour or half an hour. You didn't spend all your time posting. Totally. It, a dud is like a five minute click and it's a dud. I can move on. <laughs> like whatever. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's so true. I know doing the lives, like you said, it's going in your office, making sure the kids are quiet and doing your videos. And if, you know, you are doing them live and not using like one stream or something like it's a lot of time commitment. Right. And so yeah, I love this. Actually, that was one thing I was going to ask. So do you have little live videos inserted in like through Spark Hub or anything? So I have um, just videos that I recorded, put them on YouTube. So on onto my project broadcast landing page, um, I put the YouTube um, link because that's the only way to put a video is you have to do it through YouTube. There might be another way, but that's how I did okay. it, but you can easily do, um, an, a live event. Like if you still, like if your hostess is like, I really like it when you go live, can we still go live? You just put that in the key dates info in spark hub and say live event, you know, October 12th zoom link. And then you go live just like you would, but they still have the party page, right? Um, so you can totally still go live or figure out a different way to stream it somehow. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, you can totally still do live. You just add it to add the link to your party project landing page and boom. Okay, cool. 
All right, awesome. Does anybody have any other questions? questions. Um... Oh, um... <laughs> super overwhelming. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is overwhelming, but I promise it is so good. Um, once you set it up, like, and it's a lot because you have to create your landing page. Then you have to figure out how you're partying. But once you have those, it's so easy. Um, Margo wanted to know if most of my parties are this former. I have not had a Facebook party since March. <laughs> I, um, I am reading. I am reading. I've read whole books, people, like whole entire books. <laughs> <laughs> like more than one. I get to spend time with my kids in the evening. It's, it's great. And literally it's just click set and done. And you could just reply to the messages as you would any other time. Um, okay. I don't think I see any other questions. Yeah. That's just it. Right. Like once you, and Maggie said it too, the setting up is the hardest part. I think once you have mm -hmm. it and you figure it out, it's like any new thing you kind of jump into, right. It's takes a, it's like, it takes a lot. Riding a bike is going to take a little bit to get used to it, but once you're good at it, it's the beauty with smooth sailing. Um, exactly. The beauty with this is once it's set up, you're smooth sailing. And the beauty with Spark Hub is Julie has done all of that for you. So you literally watch the webinar and she teaches you step by step by step by step. Um, and as soon as you sign up to, well, the webinar is kind of like a Cole's notes. And then when you sign up to the 30 day free trial, you literally have it all at your hands. Like there's no, lim like it's not a limited trial. It's I created the entire thing in my 30 day trial, my subscription, just, I actually just paid for it yesterday. Um, so, and she has all the to do videos all broken down and, um, we partnered together and we created a 31, 31. um, project broadcast landing page. And I had her create a Canadian version for us. And so once you sign up to spark hub, you can go into her templates and your project broadcast landing page is done. And it looks like mine because that's how we created it oh wow oh that's so. cool yay so then you don't need, I awesome. forgot about that. how could I forget that you have that we because we're not because I'm nervous Arr. yeah, <laughs> yeah we have a template so um once you sign up to spark hub um you can get her and I spent um a week together recreating I, cause she obviously had no content. She had no graphics. And, um, so I sent her the graphics. I probably broke some 31 rolls. Don't, uh, don't share that with anybody. I don't know if I'm allowed to, I don't know. Hey, it was for <laughs> us. So it'll yeah. get them income and it'll get them business and revenue. So it's all done for you. Um, actually here, I can show you that. So yeah, there's a Canadian and American version. She had created the American version. And I was like, mm, I need Canadian for my girls because American doesn't do anything for us. So um, so I'll just show you real quick. Um, it's all at your, you do not need the paid subscription for this. You just need to sign up to the 30 day free trial. Um, I mean, if you want to use spark hub onwards, you would need to subscribe just cause it makes sense, but, um, do, 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 do. And she has literally downloaded everything for you. There is a, um, the project broadcast one. There is all the graphics she used so that you don't have to go hunting for it. Um, wow. And there's the Canva template for the, pit, the graphics that she created. The fonts that she used is all right there. And you just have to download um, the party page or the, there's a code right here. No, wait, that's, oh my gosh, I'll just show you on my own project broadcast because, um, you have a lot of windows open. That would I know. make me crazy. <laughs> that's why my computer is so slow. That's why I'm like, mm, sorry, girls. Okay. So, um, where are we here? There we go. So this is the page that she created for us, her and I worked on it together. Um, oh my gosh, seriously, Denise. So this is what editing looks like. And then you can go in and put your phone number in 
and all the things. It's super easy um, if I didn't have 8 million windows open. Sorry, guys. So there it is. This is the editing portion, but it would look exactly like mine if you used the link. Um, but you can see here, then you just go in, change your phone number. And these links that she's got here, this actually in the landing page when it's live, if they click on it, takes you to the different sections of the page. So they don't have to scroll if they don't want to. So here's her template. She literally gives you instructions on exactly what to put in each section. Wow. So it's all created for you. We did that last week or the week before, I think. And yeah, super easy. Um, hey, this is exciting. I know, isn't it exciting? I love it so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, thank there, you so You don't so have to much. spend hours doing your project broadcast landing page. I can't believe I forgot about that, the whole important thing. You left, yeah, that's the big surprise at the end. That's perfect. Surprise. Yeah. So, um, I can send the link to, or the uh, code for Spark Hub and the project broadcast um link so that you guys get the 500 credits because they do carry over which is awesome um and so 500 credits is enough i know that people are probably wondering well how many credits do you need 500 credits with project broadcast is the like cheapest plan which is what i always sign up for the cheap of the cheap um and what it does is it it's when you send those campaign messages so remember those messages that i was that i showed you that go out to the guests so it sends those one message as one credit. So it sounds like 500 wouldn't be enough, but it is because as soon as a chat is created and you're chatting back and forth with the hostess or the, the guest, those don't count. It's just the messages that go out in a broadcast or a campaign. So oh, I didn't know that. Yes, I learned that. Julie taught oh. me. Okay. Is Julie, she taught me. Um, <laughs> So yeah, and Julie is also willing to do, um, she asked, I think she said, I think she said this, she would do a training if we need to, but her webinar really is what she would teach us. So right. you'd be better off just going there, but it's, yeah, Spark Up is my new favorite thing. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much for taking this hour to go through this training and you're natural. You're good. You had everything laid out, lots of information. Oh and of course, oh like anything new, it's going to be a little overwhelming at first, yeah. but um, I'm excited. I wrote down some stuff and I'm definitely going to be checking that out. And I feel probably will message, message me you with questions. If you guys have questions, um, feel free to message me. I know it can be super, super overwhelming, but um it's super easy, like I said, once it's once you have it and you don't have to recreate the wheel, like it's been created for you. So don't recreate. I had to create from scratch. So don't <laughs> right. because you don't have to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Well, yeah, if you can just share this recording, um, maybe in the Canadian leaders group and then share it with me and I can share it with my on my team page as well. So that's awesome and then yeah everybody can learn so we really appreciate you taking this time and yeah makes me want to book some more parties book, book. Yeah. Book, book, book. and then you can like read a book with your feet up as your parties are going it's great i like it i this caught up perfect. on all my chicago fire and all my chicago pd that i missed last season i am caught nice up. <laughs> love it oh all right well thank you again so much i don't think there was any more questions so Yes, we will close it here at about just an hour in. So that's awesome. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. You're welcome.